She may have been ordered to pay Johnny Depp $10 million after losing that defamation case, but Amber Heard is not going away quietly. She's issuing a challenge to her ex-husband, saying if he has a problem with her speaking out post-trial, he should sit down for his own television interview. Bring it on. Amber Heard is throwing down the gauntlet, challenging Johnny Depp to sit for a tough network interview just like she did. If Mr. Depp or his team have a problem with this, we recommend that Johnny himself sit down with Savannah Guthrie for an hour and answer all her questions, a spokesperson for Amber tells Inside Edition. In a new interview with NBC's Savannah Guthrie, Amber offered what she said was proof of abuse that the jury wasn't allowed to see in the defamation trial. There's a binder worth of years of notes dating back to 2011 from the very beginning of my relationship that were taken by my doctor. Amber shared those notes for tonight's Dateline special. In January of 2012, she told her therapist that Depp hit her, threw her on the floor. Eight months later, he ripped her nightgown, threw her on the bed. In 2013, according to the notes, he threw her against a wall and threatened to kill her. The judge in Amber's trial dismissed the notes as hearsay and barred it as evidence. He says he never hit you, never. Is that a lie? Yes, it is. The Depp team argued that you were the abuser, that you instigated physical violence. Did you? I never had to instigate it. I responded to it. Amber says she knows by speaking out again, she could face serious consequences. Do you feel like you could be sued again by him for defamation? I'm terrified. It's almost like Amber is inviting Johnny Depp to sue her once again, but she's just lost to the tune of millions of dollars. So this is a risky strategy. But for now, it appears Amber is willing to keep on speaking out and even challenging Johnny Depp to do the same. Johnny Depp is coming off a big win. It would probably be a bad idea to go along with the idea of dueling interviews. Despite reports to the contrary, Variety says Amber Heard has not been cut from Aquaman 2. That'll be coming out next year.